Some say there is no better gift to give than to give the gift of life. A Johnstown woman who is busy preparing for her wedding this June is taking a part of her special day and making it about someone close to her, her father, who was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer last year. And this making a difference, I find out how soon to be bride is taking her bridal shower and turning it into a blood drive. Yes, you have. Jen Mann is just like any soon to be bride um, and black and crystal. Her house in Richland Township is filled with wedding items. For months, she's been busy planning for the big day, but for much longer, her time has been spent on helping her dad, Brian, battle stage four pancreatic cancer. You know, there is so much of that physical battle that you go through, but the emotional and the mental fight that it takes is um, I something that I think most of us can't even imagine. Last year, she held a blood drive in honor of her dad, who was going through numerous blood transfusions. And because it was a success, she was asked by the Red Cross to host another one. But this year's drive is a bit more personal for Jen. Instead of holding a bridal shower, she's giving back to the community. I always feel like there's people out there fighting every day for their life, and I am going to ask people to buy me gifts and gift cards, um, it just didn't seem right to me. That really shocked me. For, for a lady, not the one who brought her shower, but to give something to her father like that in place, really surprised me. And although Jen is not receiving the typical soon-to-be bride gifts, she says she's getting so much more in return, thanks to our local community. All of my vendors, all six vendors that I contacted and just sort of told them my um, situation, every single one of them is donating gift cards, um, bringing food, making baskets so we can raffle off to individuals that come. I mean, she just gives until she has nothing left to give. The blood drive will be held Saturday, May 17th from 9 a.m. until 3 at the Richland Fire Hall. And if you know someone, a group, or an organization that is making a difference where you live, let me know. You can simply email me, lindsay.ward at wjactv.com.